Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Like, come on, have some decorum. That's petty. Popping the balloon before the guy is even in the video frame is crazy. Like, you couldn't possibly have gotten a good look at him. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but from my experience in life, bruh, I know to never trust this archetype, bruh. Look at how he's smiling. You could tell, bro, bro walked in on devious timing, bruh. He walked in looking to violate. Uh, I'll have you hold this. All right, if we can have your name. Uh, my name's Aaron. Aaron, how old yes, are you? Yeah, I'm 29. 29, okay, yes. and what do you do? Uh, I'm a licensed plumber. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Um, I look like, I look for a woman that's not promiscuous and um, has a career going for herself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And now what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker, being promiscuous. <laughs> Bro double back on a no promiscuous, man. We got to respect it because we're not harboring no 304s ever. But there's just something, man, about this archetype of ninjas, bruh, that's just untrustworthy. Like, like it's, just, it, it's just something off about this archetype. And you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma. I'm 24. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to say the pop in the balloon proper. <laughs> Got you. Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show, you know? Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. So uh, that's okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. You did me a favor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro ain't giving no passes, man, on straight business. No passes. This first girl, I kind of understand it, bro. Like, you popping the balloon, bro, before I even walk into the frame, bro. Like, you looking to violate me, bro. So this first girl, hey, homie a little sassy, a little emotional, right? You will want him to maintain his frame and stay polite and masculine at all times, bro. But shorty kind of violated the dude. Man. But then his response to that girl kind of quickly backfired because now other women started popping their balloons because they believed that he was sassy and mean. Hey, well, <laughs> let's go ahead. And... All right, we got to pop over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Jara. I'm 22. Okay, and why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, the comment you made. Uh, didn't really... I like a more humble person, not someone that responds to a defensive-ish. Yeah. That's really it. Yeah. I, I didn't really necessarily like that's how you responded. That's fine. Hey, I could just, yeah. all I can do is be honest, I you mean, know? I yeah, be honest. I be came authentic over here self. To, that's okay. To, to, to find a match sure. that wasn't matching. Sure. That's I all, mean, queen. I 100% understand. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Sure. Okay. And I was, um, she someone that's your type? Um, she all right, you know? Mm -hmm. You're not really my type. I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, disrespectful. You know, but if I see you. That's the one thing I hate about these videos is we realize, like, how much of group thinkers humans are. Like, none of these chicks were popping their balloons because he was mean, but as soon as one chick says, oh, he's mean, now they're all popping their balloons because he's mean. Like, if you felt he was mean, why not pop your balloon immediately, right? Like, why wait for somebody else to say it, right? But he moves on to, <laughs> to these other chicks who pop their balloon because he's mean. And he did himself no favors, bruh, to dispel the mean stereotype. Did get a pop balloon over here, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? I'm Lex and I'm 23 and I pop my balloon because I feel like you could be a tad bit disrespectful like how you like I don't know arrogant a little bit yes yeah just that well voice in my opinion is not arrogant you know she asked me if she would be a good fit for me if I like what I see you know uh it's contrary to the truth so of course. that's all I can do is just state what I see I don't that's not a good look for me. That's all, Queen. But uh, thank you. You did me a favor as well. Like, why, bro? I can understand the other girl getting dissed because she violated at the beginning. But why diss this one? Like, she's not even being rude. She said, hey, bro, you know, like, you just come across as mean. I really don't want to deal with that. Like, to, like, go across as, oh, you did me a favor. Oh, come on, bro. Now, to me, that was just unnecessary meanness. You feel me? But he doesn't stop. Like, he, like, it gets worse. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, women I deal with, they don't have hair on their arms. Don't do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest, Don't do queen. too much. Bro on Tommy, man. He not going for nothing. 
Now, uh, this was unnecessary as well, but I do kind of understand, right? She accused him of looking down at her breast. That's damn near accusing him of sexual assault, right? Or sexual harassment, right? So he had to defend himself. And if him defend himself from a sexual harassment case, bro, is him saying, nah, I was looking at your hairy arms. I, right? But you could have said, I'm looking at your arms. You ain't need to go. I'm looking at your hairy arms and you don't even qualify. Like, come on. Like, it's sassy activities, bro. Like, it's sassy behavior. But I'll admit, bro, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to take a liking to bro, man. <laughs> he's on top. Like, bro, yo, he's the captain of hard on thoughts, bro. Nice. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body you just parts, wasn't but looking that's at my not eyes. what it is. That's no, I was looking I was at the hair on your Anyways, arms, Anyways, she asked me the question. Yes. Um... Yeah, I'm in heels and you ain't tall enough. Okay. Don't do too much, Well, though. you're not qualified, baby. All right, that's so that's cool. all good. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. Hey, listen, you went for the height. He went for the hairy arms, man. But chicks have this strategy, bro, to where they say, don't do too much after insulting you to sort of, I guess, manipulate you and not defending yourself. So again, bro, even though he started it, man, <laughs> you know, she still chose to engage, man. And he finished it, right? You feel me? Bro is on time, man. Right, but him being petty and sassy actually cost him, I believe, the only girl he was actually interested in or he truly wanted, which was the girl in pink. We do still have three unpop, but she looking like, you gonna pop? Okay. Okay. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. I popped because I have hair on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Just because you got hair on your arms, that's okay, though, Queen. You look phenomenal, though. Thank you. You know, she ain't Don't fit to my liking. She ain't even fit to my... Hey, excuse me, Queen. I'm, I'm talking to this woman right here. Oh, well, I could look anyway. I could look anyway. I could look any way I want to. You know? But, yeah, can y'all give her her balloon back, though? She don't want it. See, now I don't feel bad about her being violated now, bro. Like, you deserve it, all right? Because now you're doing a little too much, bro. Like, y'all were not matches. You popped your balloon. You took yourself out of the equation. Why even try to put salt in the game now and ruin his chances with somebody else, bro? Yeah, do you want your balloon back, queen? Uh, we're not talking to you, sweetheart. Okay. You, you already been, I already let you know. I'm not interested in, you got more hair on your arms than me, baby. But uh, anyways. Okay, so he's saying get your balloon back, but... You feel with him? Um, I'm not gonna give my balloon back. Okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. I can't put my finger on it, bro. There's just something that ain't right with dude, man. Like his smile just creeps me out for some reason. Now, what you're about to see is the girl in blue was plotting something diabolically dubious and devious, right? She was holding onto her balloon, hoping that the last girl will pop. So she could embarrass him, right? So she could like hold his fate in her hand and embarrass him by popping. But once she looks around and sees the last girl is not gonna pop and she's gonna hold her balloon, then she pops. And it's in this situation, bro. I'm like, all right. Like at this point, y'all are all being petty. And at this point, bro, I can't even cast judgment on nobody, bro. It's a free fall, right? Because once it goes to the girl in blue, she then tries to humble him. And the banter is hilarious. We do still have uh, two balloons. Yes. Do we still have two balloons? No. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. I saw you hesitate. That's why I had to ask. So if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being, I guess, arrogant. Mm -hmm. But to me, I like my man that's not going to sit in every girl's face and, you know, complimenting them, you know? Mm -hmm. So I didn't find that offensive to me. But when they started, that what was going on, I'm very, like, I'm, I don't want to say I'm argumentative, but I don't want my man to argue back with me because then I feel like it's going to always be a problem. That was the only reason why I popped my balloon, because I was just like, dang. Um, but then with me, you kind of got a little bit catty with me. You a little sassy just a little bit. And since you want to come at everybody over here, I'm going to get at you, too. You kind of look like a Ninja Turtle. You're not that cute. You, you need to relax. Uh, you stocky uh, as hell. And I was trying to be okay, respectful, but, yeah. like, you was, you was really coming out. Like, I didn't, I didn't like it. I'm from the South, and I can okay. handle, like, a lot of criticism and stuff like yeah. that. But the way you was coming, you just ain't like you got it all like that. And I guarantee you, you probably got a roommate at home, and it's just not giving anymore. Yeah. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, man, this is mutual combat, bruh. 
Texas is a state of mutual combat, bro. If y'all both agree it's on, then it's on, right? Ain't no crying about it. She stepped on the battlefield and when that bro looks, called him uh, a ninja turtle, got at his finances, said he ain't all that, call him stocky. At this point, it's mutual combat, bro. And if homie wants to violate, I'm talking about super violate, I can't even call him sassy, bro. Let's see how this turns out. More. Yeah. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do real estate and property down, management. I live downtown. So what you I live Nothing downtown. I stay by myself, Queen. You know, and you're not even qualified to be even you dealing say with me. You everybody not qualified. To, you definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and ain't the one my that type. you wanted, Pop If I seen, I, that's fine. So that, what? That is, that's totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull a hundred thousand on the bank. Can you do the same? Get this yeah, you can't, can't do that. Right you can't do that, though, baby. Yeah, let's move away. She brought up finances first. She brought up his living situation first. She brought up the fact that she thought he was broke first. But when he start flexing his career, his profession, how much he got, where he lives, now he's doing too much. Yo, like, bro, you have to understand, bro, like, some of these chicks, bro, logic just goes out the window. Like, they literally want to insult you and want you to sit there and take it. Like, that's literally what they want you to do. They want you, like, they want to humble you, call you a ninja turtle, say you broke, you got a roommate, you're not doing as much as she is. But then when you actually, like, correct her and say, nah, I'm a plumber, you know, I have 100000 in the bank, I can pull out right now. Do you? <laughs> oh, no, now you sassy, now you're doing too much. But it looks like bro actually, like, landed on his feet because he actually bagged the baddest one there. Well, Wait, you can't you do that, though, Queen. I, 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 I caught that. Oh, that was a big cut. Oh, he must have super violated her, bro. Like, like the chick was probably like, yo, like the host is probably like a chick where, like, you know, she's like, you know, pro women, feminist. So she's like, bro, I can't keep that inside here, bro. Like, I can't keep you just super violating this woman. We gotta make some cuts. For them to make a cut that heavy, bro. Oh, he had to say something foul, bro. Like, there's a little vibe here. So is it gonna be a yes for you for him? God says save souls. So yeah. Oh, and is it a yes for you it's for her? It's going to be a hell yes for okay, me. Okay, we yeah, got a match. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, let me take this mic and y'all can go on off. <laughs> okay. Look at how salty they are, bro. Laughing and ish. Trying to make the chick feel bad for her decision to leave with the guy, bro. They're all at fault here, bro. Bro was a little sassy and argumentative, but these chicks... I wouldn't say they're innocent either, bro. I feel like they both deserve each other, right? They Like, they both gave each other the exact same energy the other deserved, right? Sassy and argumentative, and they were also, like, vindictive and petty. Y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this, all right? What do you guys think? Like, who do you guys think is the true villain in this show, all right? I'm going to let you guys know in the comment section, or let me know in the comment section. And if you're still watching, click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out how WAC 100 exposed a FBI informant on Clubhouse. Click on this video right here to find out how WAC 100 exposed this secret FBI informant that was on Clubhouse. I'm going to see you guys in this video, right? I'm out of here, folks. Peace.